one of each of two movies here. Netflix has acquired a package built around um, Ian McDowell's blacklist script simply tied Ronnie a show, which is said to be directed by Chloe um, Okuno, I think I pronounced that right, and will also star um, Anna Kendrick. Now, here's an interesting, now this is based on a true story, and I have actually uh, saw and uh, read, read about the true story, uh, read on, you know, about this true story and all. Here's what it's about. It's a drama based on the true story of the time that a serial killer competed on and won, not only competed on, but won a date on uh, the popular TV classic game show, The Danny Game. The killer name of Ronnie Alcala, I think that's his name. We got pronounced right. Was in the midst of a killing spree in 1978 when he uh, randomly uh, took part in the show, Anna Kendrick will portray the role of Cher uh, Bradshaw, the contestant. On the show, which I, I'll actually post a uh, link to the description below so you guys can check out the video yourself. It's an insane uh, story, but I cannot even... But I can't believe it's actually uh, a true story here. But anyway, uh, Bradshaw acts up uh, out like uh, questions like, I'm serving... I'm serving you for dinner. What are you caught and what do you look for? Uh, he then replied to the letter saying, I'm I'm caught uh, the banana and I look good. And that sounds creepy. Uh, can you be a little more destructive? Bradshaw asked Ale Alecla, peel me, he said, and then uh, the audience laughed. At the time, uh, Ronnie had murdered five women and been convicted of it. He had also been convicted, so he was not even accused or re he was actually convicted. But he was convicted of the attempted murder of a 12 year old girl. But he made it onto the show because background checks were uh, more or uh, less. Because back, around, back then they don't really care about background checks and stuff like that. So that left Bradshaw in a position where uh, she was supposed to go on a chaperone date with um, Alaka. Only to find she was uh, put up uh, by his uh, odd vibe. In 1980, he was sentenced to the death for a uh, murder, and investigators found evidence hundreds of photos of women, of, of women, girls, and boys, and uh, keepsakes uh, police uh, believe were uh, the victim in a storage lo in the storage locker. So they found some some really sick stuff in the storage locker. You know? Uh, while he would uh, appeal several times, when evidence in DNA were made, he was tied to more murders. His execution postponed identically when California declared a moratorium on death penalty cases in 2019. And Alaska uh, is writing in state prison in uh, Corcoran, uh, California. Detectives had estimated that he may have uh, killed as many as hundred and dirty people. Uh, anyway. Now here's some more stuff. The film revolves around the events of the game show. Roy Lee and uh, Mary Yoon are producing. Uh, kind of stuff's going to be one of the producers. This is an insane story. I mean, I... I, I literally saw the uh, like uh, video. Uh, you guys can find the video online. I'll probably uh, like I'll post it to the link um, in the description. But holy cow, this dude was a sick guy. I mean, you killed literally about over about 130 people. I mean, I think this is a really intriguing story. I'm glad that girl, you know, uh, came to her senses um, and was like, "Yeah, I'm cutting you off." It, it could have got really dirty. But yeah, I mean, of course, like I said, back in the you know '80s and '70s, background checks were like were not really you know uh, popular or anything like that. I, like they rarely done background checks. So yeah, now my question is, who are they going to get to play the role? Of Roddy? That casting should be intriguing. But I think this sounds intriguing. If Anna Kendrick, kind of, I've always adored her. So her playing the uh, female part, okay, could be cool, I guess. Uh, so. Yeah, I think this could be really tricky to watch. Anyway, let me leave with you guys. What are your thoughts on Netflix giving us a film about this uh, story, uh, Simply Tied Ronnie and um, Chow? Do you know much about the true story? It's based on, like, have, did you ever heard about that, um, the, you know, killer on that dating game, uh, on the dating game show? 
Uh, are you even interested in checking that story like this? And who would you like to see uh, play the, uh, you know, uh, play the role running? Drop comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. This is Hebrew Science.